Welcome to my beautiful island in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Watch as I build an island paradise full of furry friends, pristine beaches, and lots of debt. Hope you enjoy this video and have an amazing day. Good morning, Chicago. Hey, it's actually 3.31 p.m. on April 1st. So today is a, a, a few hops away from Bunny Day. A lot of things have happened. I'll show you exactly what happened. A couple of things. Got a, one, one or two things, all right? So Nook's Cranny celebrated the... Let me just go into here. Let me just go into here and show you all the highlights real quick, okay? Uh, let's back up to here. Um, I got a recipe for a leaf. I got a gold nugget. That's the inside of, uh, uh, what's his name? Dobby's house, which is really cool. Uh, the bamboo noodle slide. I'm just going to show you all the things I did here. Uh, because, you know, I, I did a lot off camera. So, yeah. Uh, Flick visited my town. And I got uh, a bunch of uh, fabric customization things here. I also caught uh, something. Oh, right over here. Take a look at uh, this this uh, thing real quick. Hold on. It's coming. There it is. This is a big boy. This is a big boy. It's a... Uh, coelacanth. Yes. Charles told me the pronunciation of it. Coelacanth. All right. Really big, beautiful boy. That's an ancient fish, actually. And it turns out right from that spot right over there... I, uh, I just so happened to catch a second one. That's a very rare fish, and I caught two of them, one right after another. That is a size 6 fish the other day. On top of other things as well, um, CJ was there, sold off a ton of fish. Uh, I got the, the Sandy Beach flooring, the steamer basket set, lots of things in nooks. Yeah, so I did a lot of things. And look how my house looks at night. It looks beautiful. It looks absolutely gorgeous. So, yeah. Let's get back into the game itself because Nook's Cranny is, you know, opening from their renovation and a lot of things, okay? So, I'll show you everything or, or the way the town looks because the town does look different too. Not not incredibly so, but different enough. So, my name is Brian Saviano, a.k.a. Uh, does not do enough on camera, O'Brien. And you can tell that the cherry blossoms are actually here. So, throughout the month of April, I assume... There's going to be uh, the cherry blossoms that are lurking all around there. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, they, I'm just going to walk through the town and show you the new things, okay? Uh, not so much... Ooh, eggs on trees. Ooh, eggs on trees. I'll get to that whole bunny day thing in a second. But over here, uh, I ended up moving the house in the middle, which was Cookie. I moved Cookie's house. That way, there's a bigger flower bed happening over here. There's there's eggs in the ground. There's eggs everywhere. All right, so you're gonna you're gonna see all the different locations for the eggs. So I added some garden lamps here and actually around the town because they look better than street lamps and they're a lot more affordable to get. So a lot of flowers are planted here. Some crossbreeding going on around here. So that's pretty sweet. And uh, Cookie got moved up north more. So you'll see where she lives now. Not too much farther away. Hi, Flip. Howdy. Uh, we're going to grab every single one of these uh, uh, spots here as much as possible because they're going to have eggs, which, again, I'll explain in a minute as we prepare for Bunny Day. So, yeah, more garden lamps over here. Uh, this looks relatively unchanged, but now there's Zipper T Bunny. There he is. Hey, man. We're going to talk to him in a hot second. But, yeah, over through here. I added this bridge over here, which I believe I told you added a means to get up to the second level up there which is pretty cool uh that way you can uh, uh go up there if you're a standard villager i don't want to restrict it at all from other villagers so i want to make sure it was open and available and no matter what these underground things are i want to take them and keep them because you know that's going to look uh better as i plant more bamboo everywhere so that's cool can never have enough bamboo shoots so if we go over toward, uh, over here, you can see, yeah. So here's where Cookie lives, right over here. I'll show you via that. Okay, so there we go. And then, oh, I got to catch these as well. These uh, these pesky petals here, because they do build a specific uh, set, a special seasonal set. You need 10 of them, but I'll get to that in a little while too. So 
we go up toward this section here, you'll see, what will you see? A bunch of trees, of course. And this is where the money trees are, so I took most of the money trees and replanted them over to here, so that's pretty cool. That's It's all going to be like a money grove up toward there. You kind of got a sneak preview as well. Down toward this way, I changed up a, a thing involving the trees over here. I got rid of all the trees, actually, and decided to get into the crossbreeding of flowers. All right, so here we go. This is where all the flowers are. And, you know, I have them situated in a way where if we water them day after day, they have a chance of cross-pollinating and getting special colors and whatnot. So the reason why I have the white uh, high, I forget what these are called, but the reason why I have the white ones over here is because if you have two of these white flowers, you know, in this kind of cross stitch pattern like that, uh, they can breed to make a blue one, which kind of doesn't really make any sense at all, but uh, color wise at least, but you know, it makes sense for Animal Crossing. So every type of flower has a unique subset of colors that go to them some of them have the same color some of them do not the most rare is the black roses as well as the uh, gold roses which you breed obviously you know the standard color roses all the way up to uh, black two black roses next to each other makes a gold or more black roses so I don't know if I'll be going for that. Uh, I don't have roses in my town. I don't know anyone who does have roses, so it's not something that I think I could, I could even get anyways right now. So I'm just kind of leaving it be. And if it happens to be, it happens to be. And the way that you get these uh, flowers to breed here is to water them. You have to water your flowers once every day. And if it's raining outside, then you don't have to water them because obviously the, the rain will water them for sure. So every game is different in terms of whether or not it's going to be watered, you know, or rather it's going to be raining or not. So just because it's raining in my town on March 30th does not mean it's going to rain in your town on March 30th, nor does it mean if you're uh, raining outside in real life, it doesn't mean you're going to rain in Animal Crossing. So we're getting a ton of Nook Miles, presumably from watering all the flowers. So let's catch up on the Nook Miles for the day. We'll go with this one right here. Got a lot of Nook Miles. Beautiful. All right. So uh, I got to spend bells to buy bells. All right. So we have one right here. Flower Power. Nice. And we are close, actually, to getting the next one for 100 uh, flowers there, which is cool. And there you go. It's a nice 500 right there. And it looks like I surpassed that even still and got another 1,000. Wow. All right. So we're close. Close to getting even an even bigger upgrade there. Another 2,000 Nook Miles for a uh, pick of the bunch there. If you sell our island specialty fruits on other islands, yeah, cool. So I need to sell a whole lot more of those. I, I went to, I think it was Anthony's Town. I went to Anthony's Town and sold off a bunch of the uh, uh, apples there. Going to switch between probably him, uh, Charlie, and Brittany for selling off all those. So we still have more to claim, actually, down here. Cool. Raining treasure uh, popped a ton of balloons there. 14,000 nook miles. Jeez, I don't even know what I do with all those, but all right. You good? You good, fam? So happy to see you, Toasty. M Melba, what you got? I'm glad for weather like this. That's perfect for air drying my laundry. You know what? You're right. You're totally right. And I'm glad that you can air dry your laundry there, you know? So, uh, yeah, these flowers are still here, but that's beside the point. So I also added this down over here I, I i think i'm pretty much done for adding all sorts of ramps and other bridges and everything i think i'm done so there's not really a point in getting more uh, bridges and whatnot I've, I've linked everything up there's only one area that isn't linked up and i'll show you where that is right over here it's kind of a, an area where there's nothing on there so i don't know what i'd even put there but if you notice ever so slightly I changed up this lake right here. It's a little bit bigger, and it's going a little bit more toward the right. But not only that, but there's also something different about this over here. So the river is moved ever so slightly more to the right side. So I, I decided to do that. That way I can make way for the bridge that's over there and kind of make it a bit more... Uh, cohesive overall so that's the idea behind that and that I think is a uh, a butterfly I 
don't have, I can't remember. I've seen a lot of people do videos on Animal Crossing, and I'm like, oh, I've seen, I've seen that butterfly before, but I don't think I actually have it in my uh, museum. So, but there are specialty butterflies that appear because uh, of it's being surrounded by uh, rare flowers or crossbred hybrid flowers. So, we gotta find those eventually. There, I guess I didn't get the uh, the money tree spot here. It's actually weird. There was a, a money tree there almost in that exact spot a little while ago. So, huh. Okay, cool. So I'll grab that real quick. I have uh, quite a bit in savings, but nothing too crazy. Okay. We actually have quite a bit of uh, uh, eggs already, which is really cool. So, yeah, today is not Bunny Day technically. It's going to be Bunny Day in 11 days. So, between now and... And April 12th, you'll be able to find eggs. Those eggs can be found in the ground, on trees, in the rivers and oceans, in slingshots, and in rocks. Yeah, so eggs are like everywhere. There's eggs all the time everywhere. So yeah, uh, this is the new Nook's Cranny, chilling out right here. I don't think this is the final form. I believe there's going to be more upgrades in the future. Nobody has gotten that far yet in the game to, like, actually figure out what's going on. And then with Nook's Cranny, uh, you know, we, there's more stuff in there. Actually, we'll just go in there. Why would we not go in there? And they do decorate it for the holidays. So I've seen people time skipping ahead till like, Christmas time, and it's all decked out for Christmas and whatnot. It's pretty cool. Welcome to our newly renovated and expanded shop. I'm so glad you stopped by to visit us on our very first day in action. We hope you'll continue shopping with us here at Nook's Cranny. Well, I certainly don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Is that a retro air conditioner? It's an air conditioner. Yeah, they used to be coated in that, like, it looks like a fake wood. Or it's like s copper. That's kind of weird. But whatever. So I've seen people who... Is that an apple box? A cardboard box with apples on it. Okay. No, I'm, I'm good. But I've seen people progress way further in the game and not get Nook's Cranny. I've seen people who progress super quickly and get Nook's Cranny. So all I can suggest to you in regard to all this, because we don't really know what it takes to, to get this shop, is just buy as many things as you can while you're in Nook's Cranny and then hope for the best that they upgrade eventually. Now we're getting these spicy watering cans here, okay? There's a watering can, there's a special printed design shovel, a colorful net, a, a colorful slingshot. These are super cool. And I want to know how I can get these and customize my own to have all blue and yellow for each of the fishing rods and whatnot. I want this one. That one's sick. I don't think they last any longer or anything like that, but that's a really cool looking one. So let's see what uh, that one looks like in our inventory over here. Well, we can't do it in here, but you know what I mean. Uh, anything else I can sell? No. Okay. So, and we still haven't even talked to Zipper T Bunny yet. Still haven't talked to him. We got to talk to, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Blathers, because we have a ton of fossils as well. So in here... I want to make everything be blue and yellow for the flowers, which is why I decided to crossbreed and do all that. So that's going to happen eventually there. Because the the native flower that I have, there's yellow ones, and then the crossbreed for the blue ones is pretty easy. Which is why I decided to do that. That's a dragonfly. That's a dragonfly. Oh, I'm so close. There we go. Those guys are tough to catch. I caught a darner dragonfly. It better watch its mouth. Okay, you better watch your mouth. So there we go, cool. So now that it's like officially springtime and a new month, there's gonna be even more uh, types of bugs that fall from the sky, like the eggs and, and whatnot. So it's gonna be good. Dobby, how you doing, Dobby? Good to see you, Dobby. Uh, what do we got for uh, updates here? The renovation notice, the shop remodel notice, cool, nothing new, awesome. Let's talk to the Able Sisters and see what's going on here. Okay. So what I'm going to do, well, I, I'll, I'll explain Bunny Day once we actually talk to Zipper. Well, I'll leave that for over there. And then there we go. So uh, actually Sable, r rather Mabel, Sable gave me a couple of uh, these pattern fabric things 
for custom furniture. I haven't used them yet, but she does give them to me. Um, I made these special for you. Hope you have fun with them. Does it show me what it is? No. Okay. So, also a thing I, I didn't even realize, right? A ribbon? No, I'm good. But, uh, like, okay. You see the furniture, or rather the, the clothes that are in here right now, right? If you go over into here, I didn't even realize this. If you go into the fitting room, you can see all of the variants for that day. So, like, the after-school jacket. You can see what that looks like, and you can order it right from there. Uh, that layered shirt is actually pretty cool. Oh, there we go. Nice. If I didn't already make my own hoodie, then that would probably be the one I'd go for. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm going to order it anyways, just, just to have it, you know? Um, nothing else I'm really seeing here. Oh, these are pretty cool. The Roomba costume. Okay. The, uh, the, the pink and... The neon pink and blue is pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Anything else I would want? Ooh, star glasses. Star shades. Those kind of look like the glasses I've worn previously in, um... Mario Sunshine, the lime green ones. Those are pretty cool. Ooh, we got some... Got some, uh, Air Jordans over here. Alright. I haven't even gone in here and done any of this. So this is... <laughs> what a look that is right there, man. That's, uh... That's a look, let me tell you. I don't know if that's my look, but that's definitely a look for sure. So you can kind of uh, try on everything you want to here. Uh, let's see. Oh, I didn't even select the um, this thing up here. I got to reselect that. Bam, there we go. All the sweaters. I feel right at home. Oh, boy. All right, let's go down a little further. Any sort of shoes I like, trekking shoes. I mean, those kind of go okay. Uh, loafers. I'm not really a loafers guy. Um, let's see. I feel like I need a new pair of kicks for sure. The high tops. Actually, no high tops fit my massive feet. I have uh, a wide foot, so none of it actually fits for me. But there we go. I'm going to pick out what I wear right there. But a boom. Nice look right there. Fantastic. So you're going to ship what I was wearing directly to the shop, or rather to my house there. So that's cool. But I'm going to go, oh, I already spent that. So I got another 5,000, or rather, uh, 1,000 Nook Miles, 200 times 5, I should say. But as much as I love this uh, lime blue, I'm going to lime blue, <laughs> this uh, neon blue, I'm going to switch back to my standard fare here. The shoes are where it's at, though. That The, the kicks are great. So let me uh, talk to Blathers real quick because we have a whole boatload of stuff. Yep. Look at all the fossils, baby. Look at all the fossils and, and all the all the things. All of the things. So I'm going to give the coelacanth, and then that's a dace up there. I don't know if I have a dace with him already, but I'm going to give him all the things and see uh, how much we can actually give him.